Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be going over my class. I'm towards the end of my video making on this game so I want to just go ahead and give you guys a little bit of advice on what I've been using and what works for me. I am a solo player for the most part so just so you know uh, before you read too much into it. So first of all we're going to start right here. So at the moment I'm still maining challenger. I did pop summoner as a secondary because its trait offers a health regen, which is very nice. Um, very good to add that with your challenger build. And then we'll start it off going with the shade bloom crystal. Now for all of these items, I will be more than happy to let you know where to get them from in the comments. But as of right now, this is just a build video. So I'm going to tell you what I use and then we'll go from there. The Shade Bloom Crystal gains a 30% damage bonus, which changes every 5 seconds. As you can see up here, right now I'm doing Physical, and then after the timer runs out, I'll be doing Elemental. I think that's very useful in any case, because I use the Enigma and Corrosive Rounds. The next ring is the Stone of Balance, which increases all damage by 7%. Any amount of damage you can get stacked up as extra is always fantastic in my opinion. We have the Grounding Stone, which you can buy from one of the vendors in town. Uh, it increases your shock damage by 10% and resistance by 15. So I use the Enigma and the Krellax. Both of those do shock damage and do like a little debuff worth of damage every once in a while. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about is the Reserve Boosting. Now I have two health regen rings because I'm one of those people. This one increases your health regen by 0.333 per second. After going below 50% of your health, increases the regeneration value to 2 per second until 50% of your health is reached. The next one is the Fey Shaman Ring, which increases your regeneration by 0.25 and your relic speed use by 25%. Now these two are very good paired together in my opinion. I've also got the health regen from the summoner class which i'm working on maxing up right now all in all very good set of rings i think and i use these mainly i haven't really changed them since i started this playthrough as for the guns i use enigma mine is fully leveled this gun still does so much damage uh even after the nerf it's just a really good weapon to use it's very good at clearing out ads it's got a really good mod that you can use for super high DPS and I use momentum with it which anytime I hit a critical it increases the critical damage by 3% for 3 seconds and stacks 10 times super good gun uh, it's the mutator that I use for it you can't really switch out the mod for this gun as it's like a locked thing uh, and the next thing we'll talk about is the, the Krellax now I haven't fully leveled this one up I'm still looking for a crystal to do it with uh, but I've used the shit out of this axe. It comes with another locked mod, which does the overloaded electricity damage, which is really good. It's basically a one hit kill. You can throw this axe, uh, kind of like the spear I could throw. The only reason I switched to this axe is because it did like a shock damage, which is really good. Now I have a mutator on this called transference, but I haven't leveled it up fully. Uh, melee hits generate 5% of your ammo, and it has a 10 second cooldown, which I think is super useful, as I'm always just blowing away the ammo in my Enigma. And for the last gun, we have the Bulldog, which is the challenger gun that you get when you first spawn. This gun is amazing. It's fully leveled. I put corrosive rounds on it. We got feedback as the mutator, so it generates 20% of a single charge. Very good gun, uh, very good mod, very good mutator. I've used this gun religiously. Uh, and while I do notice that maybe sometimes it's starting to lack a little bit, I haven't found anything to replace it with. So if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. But with the corrosive rounds and the feedback, I'm still able to do a massive amount of DPS to bosses. So it's not been too big of an issue. It's just maybe becoming time for me to move on from this gun soon. Something that hasn't changed is the Crystal Heart. I'm still using the exact same setup with the Crystal Heart. Uh, I really am not super picky about this one. I haven't found any that I like. This is the only one I've liked. 
and I've only found one extra since the last time you guys have seen this, uh, which is the siphon, but I don't use it. It's okay sounding, but I'm still going to stick with the tried and true and use the crystal heart. As far as armor goes, I don't know if this has changed too much since the last time I made a video about it, but I'll go down the list since you can't really upgrade armor and there's no passive anything on it. You'll go from Bruiser Helmet, the Leto Mark II armor, the Bruiser Boots, and then the Bruiser Gloves. I use this so I can walk around a little bit faster. I was using two pieces of the Leto gear, but it makes you really slow. And I didn't notice that until I played in multiplayer and then it became very apparent that I was fucking slow. So I went ahead and switched off the, it was either the boots or the gloves that I switched off. The next thing we'll talk about is traits. Uh, we got strong back, which in, reduces my encumbrance by 10. Uh, one that I'm working on getting to 10 so I can level it up while using the medic class is regrowth. This is the summoner archetype trait. It increases your regen. I'm not sure what the max, I think the max is 1.5 for this trait. Uh, the next thing we got is Vigor, which is increases your max health by 30. That's normal. Endurance, also going to be 30. I think everyone uses those at the beginning. I have Siphoner, which I have fully leveled up. Grants 3% base damage as lifesteal. Then we got Bark Skin, which I'm thinking about replacing with the Engineer's permanent, uh, primary trait, which is Fortify, because I hear it does better at armor effectiveness. So this may change soon to Fortify. But for now, it's Bark Skin. And then the next one is Bloodstream, which increases your gray health regeneration by three, which is actually pretty useful. I kind of slept on the gray health at the beginning of this game, but now I'm like getting more into it and learning more. And it's like, wow, the gray health is really good. There's even a ring you can pair this with that uh, ignores, it has a chance to ignore a hit and turn every damage into gray health. And if you have this, and there's another ring that regens gray health. It's very good. Just a very good build uh, to use. This is a very good trait to use. And I think that about wraps it up. I'm going to end this video off right now. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. I've made some remnant videos and they've done fairly good. I'm just super excited about that. Very happy. Uh, you guys have made my boring days go by a little bit faster. And I do appreciate you for all the questions you've had in the comment section, etc. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this is very informational, maybe a little more than the last one. Hopefully it can help you out or maybe decide for you on what to use next for your belt. You guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.